Hi, I'm Peter Bassett, Astronomy Roadshow Mobile Planetarium. Today we could talk about combining artwork with space flight. Now, the first person to come up with this idea was actually uh, the world's first female astronaut, Valentina Tereshkova, uh, Russian if you haven't guessed already. Uh, she went up into space in 1963 and came up with this original idea of representing, uh, you know, having a badge representing your mission. Right. Anyway, this is some of the space shuttle uh, mission badges, and um, oh, we'll, come, we'll come back to this. Right, we have got uh, badges for administrations as well, organisations doing space. Uh, this is probably the most famous one, I'm sure. Uh, the NASA logo badge uh, stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It's not actually a place. A lot of people do come up to me and they say they've been to NASA and they, they really enjoyed it. What they really mean, they've been to the Kennedy Space Centre, but I do, do know what they mean. But yeah, this is in fact controlling about 11 uh, bases across America. Not just the Florida one, because you've got one in Houston, the Mission Control Center, uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, you've got the headquarters of Washington DC, and it partly operates also a runway in California, the Edwards Air Force Base and so on. Anyway, so it is an organization representing lots of different sites around, around the America. Okay, what else have we got there? We've got um, one of my favorite missions of all time, in fact, my favorite, most favorite of all, uh, is Apollo 8. Right, this took place in 1968, Apollo 8, and the uh, figure 8 here represents the actual uh, flight path from the Earth to the Moon and back. All right. So you might as well have an 8 on there somewhere. You've also got the American flag represented on the Moon. How come? Well, you've got red, white and blue. Okay, so at least you've got the colours there. They want you to do it subtly rather than something, something that's, that's uh, more striking. And I thought it was quite a neat idea. Okay, anyway, and also the shape of it, I almost forgot, matches the Apollo shape. Another the Apollo spacecraft, there we go. Anyway, the first mission to the moon and back, it wasn't Apollo 11, uh, it was this one. Okay, what else have we got then? Uh, Apollo 11 itself now. And uh, this time they didn't want to represent the American flag in any shape or form. Uh, the flag itself is not on it, and uh, the colours are not on it either. They wanted to represent uh, a human representation to the moon and back. Uh, so they didn't want any involvement there of the American flag. All right? uh, they didn't want to make any political statement or anything like that. They just want it very neutral. Anyway, the person who designed that, hang on a minute, I've got somebody to tell me a little bit more about this. It's Buzz Aldrin. Oh, oh, it's Mike Collins actually mostly designed this one, uh, rather than Neil or, or Buzz. Um, so yeah, Mike Collins, uh, yeah, Mike Collins should take the credit for, for this design. All right. Anyway, what else have we got then? The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. I was lucky enough to see that thing go up from, from again, the Kennedy Space Centre. And anyway, we've got a design of the shuttle itself for this discovery, and also the Hubble coming out of the cargo bay, and I was actually there when this thing took off. But anyway, we've got Tim Peake, that's a more modern uh, mission, it took place a few years ago now. And uh, anyway, Tim Peake is on there, surname only though. And uh, you've got uh, Tim Coper on there and so on, Scott Kelly. But you've also got the Union Jack, of course, representing uh, the UK. And, uh, but anyway, that's Helen Sharman's badge, Britain's first astronaut, went up in 1991. And she largely designed that one, and so on, so you get the idea. And what else have we got then? We've got, um, of course, the Hubble Space Telescope, but it got older and needed repairing and upgrading. Uh, there were four different machines to upgrade it. This was one of them. And again, you've got the shuttle on there. I think it was Atlantis this time, I'm not too sure. And uh, anyway, the Hubble there. It's got 109 there, a tiny little writing there. Represents the 109th shuttle mission. So all these little subtle things from the design is actually, actually quite clever. Uh, okay. Anyway, we've got uh, the space station, of course, when we started constructing this, the badge for that too. You've got the original Russian component that was launched on its own. Uh, then we had the shuttle to go up to it a few months later and add on American parts to it. And then for the first time, we had astronauts going inside it. Anyway, so that was the American mission, uh, second part of, of the ISS. Uh, but when the ISS was complete, now it becomes much more complex to draw. Uh, that's quite a challenge. I couldn't do that. Anyway, you've got uh, a Russian rocket taken off of Soyuz, and uh, again, it's quite a neat one. And you've got the capsule there, representing the last phase of it, uh, just before they docked at the space station. And it did take place just after sunrise in Earth orbit, so therefore they got that on there too. I quite like that. Anyway, what else have we got there? We've got um, uh, Oklahoma Storm Chaser. No, wrong talk, sorry. Okay, <laughs> throw that one away, got that mixed up. Uh, but anyway, when the space station was complete, now I've got the whole thing. And uh, okay, there's a design in the background there. And of course, every uh, country is represented on there. Every country that took part in building parts of it, as well as paying for parts of it too. Uh, of course, the United States is on there. Uh, the Union Jack again, all right? And they've got Brazil and got Canada. You've got loads of different countries there. Japan, uh, all represented on that. But obviously, you can't wear this one. 
it's far too big. And uh, but they have a sticker version of it. It's actually on, on the inside of the space station itself in one of the modules. Quite like that. Anyway, what else have we got? So even probes have their own badges. This is a Curiosity rover on Mars. And uh, obviously no names on it because it's a robot. There's no humans on board this one. And uh, anyway, but you yeah, have got little uh, logos for the uh, badges for these as well. So, you know, you've got badges for spacecraft, uh, for robots. Uh, but these are the ones, of course, the, the uh, occupied ones. Uh, with their slots on board. So if you design your own badge, quite straightforward then. You can have any shapes you wish, any colours you want, no limits there. And uh, but anyway, you represent your space mission somewhere in the patch, and then you put your surnames only around the edge. Don't spoil the picture. All right. Anyway, so uh, pick up some pencils and uh, get drawing. See how you get on. Thank you very much.